Stroke is the third leading cause of death in the United States and it's the number one cause of long-term disability. As a result of that, there is a huge social, psychological, emotional, and, you know, frankly speaking, financial impact upon um, California, but the country as a whole. What our research is pursuing with the help of the Public Impact Fellowship is a treatment that fully protects the brain. We don't require a special drug, and we don't require any sort of special machinery. This is something similar to, say, uh, CPR for a patient with a heart attack. So we can begin treating patients even before they reach the emergency department, in the ambulance, on their way. The treatment we discovered is a mild, protective sensory stimulation. In the rats, what we're talking about is moving a single whisker back and forth, very gently. Uh, the analogous version of this in humans would be maybe something similar to a physical therapy sort of motion, a light sensory touch. But it could be something as basic as having a friend, family member, loved one staying with you, explaining what's happening as you're going to the hospital, holding your hand, reassuring you. As cliche as it sounds, the Public Impact Fellowship has been a complete game changer for my work. This sort of fellowship allows someone like myself to focus 100% of their time into being a neuroscientist. Seven hundred and fifty thousand people suffer a stroke each year in the United States. We require funding necessary to continue our work. Uh, we can achieve a drug-free, ready, easy-to-use treatment that can prevent both the damage and maintain function of the brain of someone that's suffering one of these strokes. The Public Impact Fellowship has been instrumental in keeping this work going, but absolutely further research is required.